Okay, welcome everyone to our 15th uh, Course C++ Meetup. Um, today we're in Modin and we also have a live broadcast here and uh, the, the whole session will, will be recorded and will go online. Um, I see a lot of new faces here, so I just want to ask who here has never been here before? Wow, amazing. That's more than half of you, so I think that's really impressive. Um, the goals for this group really is to find all the C++ programmers and developers in Israel and trying, trying to build the community, get people to know each other, because many other languages and technology, the technologies have their own groups and very active web uh, communities, but somehow C++ developers tend to be holed up in their cubicles and not really interacting with each other. And the, what we're trying to do here, really, is to try to get you guys to, to know us, to know each other, to meet each other, to uh, find your fellow developers. And it's very common that C++ developers, are, at least the ones that come to meetups, so I always say this, they're like the local gurus in their company. So everybody comes and asks them, or if somebody doesn't know, they say, yeah, go, go and ask him, he knows, right? Or she knows. And uh, at the end of the day, we, we need some people to talk to. We need a community to ask uh, our own questions when we get stuck, right? So I think that was one of the main drivers when we started the group. Um, the first thing I usually do in our meetups is something I call meet your neighbor. So I'm going to give you three minutes to talk to somebody who's sitting next to you but that you didn't come with. And just tell them, uh, introduce yourself, tell them where you're from, and tell them why, what you would be doing if you weren't a software developer. So, go ahead. So, it's three minutes are over. I know this is really fun, and you can pick it up at the break. And it's there. See, it's, it, it was awkward to start. Let's start, let's resume. Um, all right, so I love this part where, where people are enjoy talking to each other. It's a little bit awkward at first, especially if you've never done this before, but it really generates a sense of community, and you see the next time you come, suddenly many of these people are familiar, and it's really fun. Um, now, another thing I like to do is the census, because you might be asking yourself, why are we in Modin, right? Or, or you know, last month we were in Mevaseret. Um, and the reason is because we're trying to unify the, the large developer community uh, in Tel Aviv and in Jerusalem. And I've been to meetups in Tel Aviv, and whenever I say, yeah, I'm from Mevaseret or, or Jerusalem, they look at me as if I came from the moon. And if I go to Jerusalem again, it's the same. Nobody comes from anywhere except Jerusalem. And my whole idea was to try and get people to come from both communities. So we basically co located we don't have one only one place where we're uh, doing our meetups. We're usually alternating between Mavaselet, which is closer to Jerusalem, <coughs> and approximately uh, three times a year we, we go into Tel Aviv to do, a, generally these are larger uh, meetups. But again, we only have a sample of one year, so <laughs> this is uh, still to be seen. Um, I do want to take a short census of who, how many people here are from the Tel Aviv area. Okay, that's about a third. How many people are from around Jerusalem? Okay, maybe a fourth. And the rest are from around, uh, I don't know, Modin or anywhere else? North. Hmm? The, or north, or even north. Okay, so we have a nice mixture here, and I think this is really great. I'm, I am aware that many people don't come, but I guess uh, I'm hoping we're getting the best people to actually come here. Uh, and we're really trying to give really high quality and very uh, um, a lot of variety in our talks. So hopefully you did make the trip, and we're going to make it worth it. Uh, we're going to have three talks today, and uh, I'm, uh, please do continue coming because we have a very rich uh, program for the rest of the year. And I'll get to that in a minute. We do our our meetings are monthly, so you can always prepare. This is the Maybe the number one priority is a meeting every month. Even if we don't have the exact venue or the exact program, we will always have a meeting. This is like one constant thing. Prepare your families that you have one, one night uh, a month that you think you're going to your C++ meetup. I do try to encourage people to carpool because when you're turning this dead time into quality time, you meet new people. Uh, you can use the meetup commenting system to find people. Uh, to carpool with, or you can email me, or whatever other ways uh, to find each other. So I do encourage you to carpool together. Um, 
Right, so a little bit of news about, uh, some news about our group. So these numbers are, are true as of yesterday. We have 208 subscribers on YouTube, 865 Twitter followers. This is actually a number that raise, rises every day. And 695 members, we're almost at 700 members. Our group is only one year old. I think this is very impressive. You thought there aren't many C++ developers. There, most of them are not very visible, but apparently we are popular enough. As I said, we're live streaming this thanks to Checkpoint who are sponsoring the live stream and this meetup. And uh, our next meetup will be on February 19th at a new venue at the Academic College of Tel Aviv Yafo in Tel Aviv Yafo, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we will uh, publish the, the program soon. So keep, uh, keep an eye out for that. Where can you find us? I think most of you found us through Meetup. Uh, of course, we have our, the Core CPP group on Meetup. We have a YouTube channel where most of the talks go online. Uh, our website is on well, is also hosted on GitHub. We have an active Twitter account. Active means we tweet at most twice a day. Uh, also to Facebook and LinkedIn, you might find us there. We do have our own channel on the C++ Slack. If you're not on the C++ Slack, you should go there. Everybody who's anybody is actually there and very approachable. If you want to talk to some of the people you watch on CppCon and some uh, serious uh, developers, they're all online there, most of them. Uh, and we have a Facebook page uh, that I know some of you at least uh, would get your updates there. So check us out on the social media. Now, the big news, in case you haven't heard, we're actually going to have an international C++ conference in May. So who, who has heard this for the first time right now? Oh, what a nice, okay, four people, that's nice. So May 14th to May 17th at the Academic College of Tel Aviv Yafo, where our next meetup is going to be, the same venue. Uh, three days of uh, two tracks, sorry, two, two days, two tracks each day, and we're going to have a pre-conference workshops from some amazing international trainers I'm going to show in a minute. The website for the for the conference is coursecpp.org. <coughs> if you wanted to submit a talk, I'm sorry you're too late. The submissions <laughs> were ended yesterday. Um, and But early bird tickets, which are 20% off, are still available at the end of this month. So uh, talk to your teams, talk to your dev managers, talk to your HR, and go get tickets while they're uh, uh, at a discount. We do have a limited seat availability, so hurry up and get your seats. We are still looking for sponsors. This is a community-driven conference, and sponsors help us make the conference better. It means we can bring international speakers, and we can pay their travel and accommodation, and we can bring higher quality activities and, and content. So if your company is doing a lot of C++, sponsorship is actually not very expensive. Just buying three tickets already buys you a status of a sponsor, and then we have multiple tiers of sponsorship. So go talk to your managers, talk to your HR, buy tickets, become sponsor. As I said, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and community sponsor. So uh, we're open, and we're open to many other different variations. When I say we, it's just, we have a program committee. The user group here, it's me and Michael, my uh, co-organizer and the producer. Um, and the training, we announced all the training sessions that we're going to have in the conference on the day. Uh, we're going to have four classes uh, on the day before the conference. And on Friday, on the second day, we're going to have another class. So uh, Jason Turner, very well known, C++ Weekly, is going to come and give a, talk, uh, a workshop, a, a full-day workshop, Understanding Object Lifetimes. Phil Nash, who wrote the Catch uh, TDD library, is going to give a workshop, Accelerated TDD, for more productive C++. Amir Kirsch from MTA, the academic uh, uh, college, is actually going to give, uh, yeah, he's sitting right over there. Stand up so everyone can see. Him. So he, he'll be giving a best practices talk in Hebrew, in case uh, you're more comfortable with, with Hebrew. And Dan Sachs, an international expert in embedded systems programming and using C++ in embedded systems, is going to give a talk about embedded systems. And on Friday, we're going to have Diego Rodriguez, who spoke at our July meetup about the Conan, uh, uh, Conan package management system from uh, Conan IO or J4. So, and that's going to be that's a, uh, a half a day workshop on Friday morning. So, we're extremely proud to have such uh, uh, 
uh, amazing speakers in our conference and do go and check out the talks. These are t uh, workshops that are that happened before the conference. The, the tickets needs to be need to be bought separately and we have very limited number of seats for this. So you should hurry up before tickets run out. Um, we also announced the keynote. So Jason Turner is going to give the first keynote, the best parts of C++. He's an amazing, amazing speaker. Uh, you probably may have seen him uh, at CppCon, where he, I think he also gave a keynote, yeah. and uh, other conferences. So I'm looking forward. He's a really nice guy. And uh, you should come to our conference, because from my experience, all the C++ people are extremely approachable. So even if you read their books, you watch their videos, you watch their talks, and I'm talking everyone, including Strumstrom. Is there people you can come up to and talk to them, and they're very friendly and very open. So do come and join us in May at the conference. Um, our meetups cannot happen without our sponsors. And today, our sponsors for our meetup here are Sheltec, who are providing the, the venue. Sheltec uh, is a Modine business center, and they offer a range of flexible office and working spaces for small and medium-sized companies. The complex has high-end internet infrastructure, Wi-Fi, air conditioning, and kitchens with espresso machines, as, as you've all seen. Uh, they also offer an extensive array of consulting and administrative services that are essential for growing businesses. We're also sponsored by Checkpoint, who are also providing the, the live streaming. And Checkpoint, I'm sure everybody's heard about Checkpoint. They're the world's leading cybersecurity provider. They provide the most comprehensive cybersecurity technology to tens of thousands of organizations of all sizes and to millions of users. They develop in a variety of languages, primarily in C and C++ under Linux. And they're always looking for new talented developers to join their R&D team. So if you're actually thinking of, of uh, looking for new challenges, uh, you can go talk to Yossi. I'm sure he'll be really happy to talk to you. Um, so we are indebted and we do owe our sponsors this meetup, the refreshments and the, and the venue. We couldn't uh, make it happen without them. Okay, so we have a very interesting and full agenda today. Uh, Yossi is going to talk about, we have, our, I didn't mention this uh, before, we have uh, the 10 minute corner called C4GC. Who here remembers what that is? Okay, not very. <laughs> it's the, the, the core C++, C++ core guidelines corner. And uh, we're going, um, yes, every time somebody chooses a, a very small part of the core guidelines, um, maybe some of you have not heard of it, and Yossi will mention what that is, I hope, and uh, talks for 10 minutes about it so we can get a testing. The core guidelines is a huge um, document, and it's very difficult to, to consume whole, so we're just taking bites, nibbling on it. Uh, Max is going to talk to us about computing on encrypted data with C++, and after, then we're going to have a short break, and then Dofna is going to talk, uh, give us an introduction to the Internet of Things with C++ and C, right? Yeah. So welcome, and I, I'm really happy to see all the new faces here, and enjoy. So.